The woman refused to provide the money to open the store because of her father. Forced to come to the craftsman guild to choose her, but was rejected because of a recent move by Oifo. It made Ro suspicious. Facing Ro's questioning, Oif just laughed and said he wanted to make up for his previous mistakes, make him truly loyal to him. I feel guilty, as expected of my little wolf. Intuition is so sharp. We must win him over as soon as possible. Otherwise, press the original owner. In the future, he will take revenge. Then state the purpose of the trip. Let Ra accompany him to the Craftsmen's Guild. Ra is so strange. You're looking for a pastry chef. Why not the Duke? Bring this up. Olive was depressed. Father to punish him. Self-proclaimed refusal to support his cause. So the opening funds and the clerks have to prepare by themselves. Otherwise, comment on the status of one of the three major chambers of commerce of the Via family. Dessert chefs don't just line up and choose. Rao was not impressed. The Duke loves the eldest lady so much. As long as the eldest lady admits her mistake, say something nice. The Duke will surely change his mind. Oif said. He wants to solve difficulties through his own abilities, rather than relying on others. He will find a way to finance. The most important thing now is to recruit people for the store. Before opening a store, they should also be trained uniformly. Wow! Surprised. How could Olive have such an independent idea? Ming Ming before him. Always acting as the daughter of the Duke's palace, he couldn't help but be reminded. Craftsmen have a deep-seated contempt for female employers, especially in a place like the Craftsmen Guild. Even more despised, because the women of the imperial aristocracy rarely appeared in public, even business. I didn't expect pay people to hire people and be sexist by them. Can't help but sigh, some preference. Sure enough, there is no escape anywhere. Finally, came to the craftsmen guild. I didn't expect it to be as Rao said. Seeing her as a woman said to hire a group of pastry chefs. If you don't even lift your head, drive people away. This is not the place for women. Don't get in the way of her business. I didn't expect to hit the face so fast. Ov is angry. What's wrong with women? Door to do business. Shouldn't you treat every employer equally? The man scoffed. Ask if the money for hiring people is paid by yourself. Or the man at home. Can you be the master of a woman? Oif retorts that of course I can call the shots. Although his father cut off his funds, but his jewelry is valuable. Just sell them. He can get the first pot of gold. The man looked down on him even more. Where does a noble lady in her early twenties get the money? This is not the place for you to play. Let's go. The cat clothes are fried. Damn it! Treat him as a liar. So they argued with him. And Dusus, who was on the second floor, saw this. The guards on the side hurriedly asked if they wanted to go down and help them. Lucy said to observe first. He wants to see if Oiver is really capable. On the other hand, Oif has brought out the laws of the empire. 
just ended this debate. Because according to imperial law, any chamber of commerce or artisan guild, legal employment shall not be obstructed without reason. Violators' cases disrupt the development of imperial commerce. I heard that he actually understands the laws of the empire. The man finally panicked. This is a basic requirement for doing business. If you dare to stop me, I will sue you. Let you taste the taste of labor. The man immediately relented. Invite them into the reception room and sit down and talk slowly. Rao was taken aback. Obviously, I didn't know a few big characters before. Also angry at all the teachers who taught him, Ove has now read the Imperial Code. How could he manage such a difficult book? I understand why it doesn't look like him anymore. He is it really the same Olive I knew before? The Chamber of Commerce is made up of a group of fierce pirates. Famous for making and selling arms, the mastermind behind it is actually the big villain. For the throne, sell arms to countries through chambers of commerce to control the military power of various countries. Looking at the batch of samples just sent by the villain chamber of commerce, Oif was worried. Just because this batch of seemingly sophisticated samples sent by the Billin Chamber of Commerce, in fact, there are hidden tricks. This is Douglas' attempt to deceive Reynolds and the King with high-quality samples. The actual transaction is replaced by inferior products. Just now, in the magnificent palace. Oi! Because at the little prince's birthday party, delivered cake. Successfully win the favor of the little princess, and let the king promise to put him in charge of royal desserts. Reynold leads Ove. Enter the royal treasure trove of ingredients, and he happened to need to go to the adjacent weapon storage room. Process transactions. Let Ove wait for him for a moment. Ove knows the abundance of time. His is in no hurry. Accompanied him. Two people side by side, stepping into that space full of iron blood. The administrator's explanation rang in my ears. Mention a new batch of weapon samples delivered by the Billin Chamber of Commerce. Ove casually picked up a weapon. Feel the cherry. But was whispered by Reynolds. Don't touch it. Excuse me. These weapons are sharp. It's not good if you hurt your hand. He thought he was blaming. Unexpectedly, it was out of concern for his safety. Reynolds is satisfied with the sample. Immediately arranged the purchase. Heard about to trade. Oif has mixed feelings in his heart. He has long since decided not to be involved in the original work. Now he has helped Andrew's family reunite. He also agreed to sit in his shop. He will have his own business. Industries dabbling in aid will only make him repeat the same mistakes. However, in the face of the kind Reynolds, he can't just sit back and watch. He couldn't bear to see him in a difficult situation. So I've been torn between talking and not saying. Because it is the heroine's duty to expose the truth, recorded in the original, Lucius is going to shoddy this batch of ammunition, discovered in time by Kalia's father. And Kalia, I also accidentally discovered Ducius' conspiracy, kidnapped. Critical moment, Reynolds saves Kalia. The two of them also became emotional. Then Reynold, noticing his abnormality, asked, "Oh, Miss Eve, what are you thinking about? So absorbed. Sorry." 
His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, has a saying that I don't know if it should be. Autumn. Arms deal with Peter Harvest. In the end, he still decided to remind Kay. Reynolds was surprised. He actually knew that this batch of ammunition came from the Bylonian Chamber of Commerce. Oif, I had to lie about learning it from Kalia. It also allows Reynolds to find out more about him. But this displeased Reynolds. Clenched hands, tight eyebrows, loose, finally said, "I've never understood." You provoke me first. Push me towards someone else. Miss Elf, I hope you don't mention other women's names in front of me in the future.